Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will do the cinematic look, okay? The look that everybody's talking about. So I have my clip right here again. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and try to make it look cinematic. So, color tab, and then the first thing I'll do is add a couple of nodes. Okay, so the first one I usually just leave it here, I do nothing. This one is gonna be for saturation. Lots and vignettes. Okay, guys. So first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of saturation. Okay, just a tiny bit, like this. Now you can see that this shot is already graded, so I'm not gonna be doing any color correction or anything like this. We're gonna apply the cinematic look right away. Now I'm not gonna name those to keep this tutorial short. Now go to nodes number three, then find LUTs. And here, look for film film looks. This one right here. And you can choose anything from here. This one is good. This one is good too. All right, so I think I'm gonna choose this one. Put it here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is select the nodes number four and then come over here to curves and I will go ahead and try and adjust the curves for this film look that I have right here. So this is the, 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 the normal curve right here is the highlights. This is the shadows or left and right here are the midtones. So I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit just like this. The shadows, I'll bring them down a little bit as well. Or to the right, I should say. To the right, yeah. And then just try different stuff with the midtones. All right, and see which look you like. Okay, so just this is just a matter of preferences, guys. The next thing I'll do is go to set luminous versus saturation bring the highlights down all the way and desaturate the shadows just like this go back to um, number three the lots number three um, go to timeline outputs blinking and anything after 2.0 is fine okay so for this one i'm gonna go with 2.35 like this so if you leave it like this it's perfect okay it's fine it looks amazing i'm just playing this thing so you can see Now one more thing, sorry, one more thing you can do is add a vignette, of course. So you can add it from here, the windows, or you can just add an open effects vignette. So let me look for vignette open effects. Here it is. I'm gonna add a new node, put it here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust this vignette, increase the softness. Increase the blend. Now this next step is optional, okay? So right here with the node number two when we did the saturation, I can right click and then add a serial node before. And here, what I'm gonna do, sir, is desaturate. Okay, to give it that dramatic, dramatic look. Okay, guys, and this step is optional if you're looking for that dramatic cold look, you can do it. Okay, you're probably thinking, oh, you did saturation here and here, you did the saturation, what the fuck? Uh, that totally normal, man. We did saturation here, totally a universe, and right here, desaturated, it totally on another universe. This node is different than this one. 
and basically you can think of it as we did action accentuates the colors and the footage and then those colors we desaturated them so if i toggle on and off the one with the saturation you can see the difference okay so think of it as we have desatur we have saturated desaturated colors quite high quite hard to explain but you can see the difference when i toggle on and off from the node all right guys i think that's it man you can really see that the guy was getting a normal haircut like this now he's getting a dramatic haircut